Welcome to the Not Your Typical Agent podcast, helping guide you through all things real estate. My name is Jay Crouchy. I am a licensed real estate broker in the state of Illinois. Let's get started. Today we are going to discuss how to handle multiple offer situation as a buyer in today's market. If the home is recently on the market and is priced below market value in a prime location or just flat out awesome, it is sure to drive buyer attention and create competition. Navigating through a multiple offer situation as a buyer can be one of the most exhilarating and stressful parts of home shopping. Needless to say, only one group will prevail and win the bid. Here are some tips to help you navigate correctly. Tip number one, do your research. If you find the property of your dreams, first you need to determine how much you are willing to pay for it. Work with your real estate broker and review recent sold comps in the area. Often in any given neighborhood, especially in the city of Chicago, you will have similar homes that have sold on the same street within the past six months. You can then make adjustments based on material facts like lot size, square footage, features, and updates. The key of this is to use the comps to determine a price you think the house will sell for and then determine how much you're willing to offer to ensure you will win the bid. Tip number two, determine the max price you're willing to pay. A multiple offer situation can turn unpredictable. People may do crazy things in order to win the bid, such as offering well above list price and waiving certain contingencies on the deal. This may cause problems down the line, especially if you are financing the purchase with a mortgage. It may force you to come out of pocket to make up the difference on appraised value. The rule of thumb is to work with your agent and determine how much you're willing to pay. If you lose out, you know you took your best shot. Tip number three, Come up with creative ways to make your offer stand out. An escalation clause is one way to jump ahead of the buying competition. You can work with your broker and determine the range you think the home will sell for. For example, a very hot listing comes to market for $350,000. Multiple buyers are interested and you are asked for the best and final offer. You can offer list price, but you can also include an escalation clause where you would be willing to beat out any other offers by X amount up to, say, $365,000. It doesn't always work, but it is a good way to win a bid and ensure you don't miss out on a deal by a couple thousand dollars. If you are on the winning end of a multiple offer situation, congratulations. If you are not, it's okay to feel bummed. I've been on the losing end of a multiple offer situation both as a buyer and an agent plenty of times. The one thing I'm 100% sure is that although it doesn't feel like it now, this will work out in your favor. Something better will come along that you will love even more. It always does. Thanks for listening. (music) 